Welcome to Listen Up Cleveland, I'm your host Leah Haslidge and today we're at the Cleveland Botanical Gardens, a place that you can enjoy all year round right here basically in your own backyard. Branch Out got started, we were brainstorming about what kind of summer exhibit we could create here at the garden for this summer. Last year we had a Lego exhibit. We said, well, how can we beat that? And we started talking about tree houses. In addition to the tree houses, we have lots of interactive components with each of the houses. So we have musical instruments that you'll probably hear in just a second or two. There's some. Um, we have different things that you can just interact with at each of the houses. One of the tree houses focuses on reading and literature, and so we have some um, different books in there that you can read. We have some paper and pencils you can write poetry. Um, so we have lots of different ways that you can engage with the tree house and the area around them, not just go into the tree house and walk out. So that was our goal to make it a really interactive um, and fun exhibit. So we have tagged some of the trees, and this is a really cool um, thing that anybody can do, and it shows the uh, monetary value that a tree has for somebody. Because I can tell you, hey, it's really great to plant a tree, but unless you see that every year this tree at this size is going to save you know, 200 to $300 or $400 on your heating bill or your cooling bill or um, you know, things like that, then if it starts impacting your you know, bank savings, then people start to pay attention to that. So if you look at each different species of tree and the different size that it is, has a different value. And that's based on if this tree is in your yard and it is shading your house in the summer, you don't have to use your air conditioning as much. If it is protecting you from winter winds, you don't have to use your heat as much. Um, and it also shows how much rainwater it would absorb. So it would have been really handy when we had these big huge rainstorms earlier this spring to have these trees just kind of soaking up that water and keeping it out of the sewer. So I love that component and it's actually a website that you can go to so you can measure trees in your yard and you can find out what that um, economic value is, that benefit that you would get by having a tree in your yard. The summer is when this place is beautiful anyway, but we like to add you know, some additional things to get people coming back throughout the year too. Um, we're open year round and the summer is wonderful. So is fall, so is winter, so is spring. Um, but every summer we try to shake it up, add something new for people to come and see. And even the treehouse exhibit, if you come to see it throughout the summer, it's going to be different every time you come. I mean, every season is completely different. And I mean, even this week, every day has been different because with the leaves coming out more and more and everything blooming. And so it's just, it's, you know, something fun for us to work on and be able to promote every summer. Another way to enjoy the gardens in the summer while learning something new is with their Gourmets in the Garden series. Gourmets in the Garden is a um, local food demonstration. We have uh, chefs, Cleveland's top chefs, that come in weekly, Wednesday evenings at 6 o'clock. They put on a demonstration and then that's followed by a tasting. Chefs take the lead and they really showcase uh, the local ingredients, the fresh ingredients that are available at the time. I think that there's a, a really great um, local food scene here in Cleveland and 
um, the farm to table movement is very important to the botanical garden. Uh, it's sustainable and uh, just it really aligns with our mission. It's a great way to spend a, a nice warm summer evening here on the Geist Terrace enjoying uh, some bites and then we also have a cash bar. So lots of times folks will get a cocktail from the cash bar and sit down and listen to gourmets in the garden and then stroll the gardens afterwards. It's just the perfect um, kind of ramp up to the weekend. In the fall we do Hoppy Hour. It's another a weekly series on Wednesday evenings and Great Lakes, we're lucky enough to have Great Lakes Brewing Company as one of our partners for that series too. So this fall, um, beginning the first Wednesday in September, goes all the way until the last Wednesday in October, uh, we'll be featuring Great Lakes beer um, and we have a speaker that Great Lakes brings in and they kind of educate the group that's there on, the, on their beer. We actually joined with the Botanical Gardens um, coming up on three years actually this fall, so roughly uh, two years ago. We started with their Hoppy Hour series, which occurs every fall, uh, and it's actually a great opportunity for one of our representatives to come out here uh, and uh, once a week actually talk about a different topic, um, discuss it with guests while they take beer samples, or for those who are so inclined, they can actually get a full pint. Um, so a nice chance to get a sampling of our beers, learn a little bit, um, typically about some of our other initiatives that are less uh, widely publicized. Everybody knows all about our beer, right? Fresh, high quality, but we're also very involved in the community, sustainability efforts, um, and really heavily involved, especially in local farming, which is quite relevant when you're standing in the middle of a garden. So a great way to learn something, drink a beer, and enjoy those last final warm days outside in Cleveland. So interestingly enough, I am not a native Clevelander. Uh, I am a transplant who fell in love with the city. Um, and this place is one of those reasons. Uh, the fact that within a city center, you can have this beautiful garden um, that is available to you year round. You know, there's displays in the winter when there's all these reasons to stay inside, but come inside here. Um, and the cafe, of course, you can enjoy a Great Lakes beer at the same time, so I'm all about that. All year long, you can experience the 18,000 square foot Eleanor Armstrong Smith Glass House that is part Costa Rican rainforest with tropical butterflies and features over 350 different species of exotic plants and part Madagascar with desert style plants and even animals. The Glass House is a favorite of guests, especially in the cold months. Uh, you can see radiated tortoise, um, also birds free flying, butterflies free flying, and as a matter of fact, we have a butterfly release each day at two o'clock. We feature a South American butterflies in the Costa Rica section, and it, you get to come get just up close and personal with them every day at two o'clock. So yes, we want people to come to the garden and enjoy what they see here, but if they also learn a little bit of information about you know, their connection to plants, uh, why plants are important to us, then we feel like we've done our job. I've been here for six years, uh, and I, uh, my favorite part is the fact that it changes all the time. I can come into work one day and something will look a certain way, and then I can come in the next day and it's completely changed. It's a wonderful environment, very peaceful, calming, um, like to be around all of the plants. And even in the winter time, you can go out and find some solitude in the outdoor grounds. The gardens is a place you can find peace and quiet. Bring the family to have fun, or bring out your inner child. To purchase tickets, you can call 216 721-1600 and visit cbgarden.org. Thanks for watching Listen Up Cleveland. I'm Leah Haslidge.
Welcome to Listen Up Cleveland. I'm in a perfect garden setting right, oh no. Three, two, one, ready? Everything I said I was gonna say, I'm forgetting. Ta-da! You look awesome in your frog hat. You look beautiful, Leah, as always. We're here today at the Cleveland Botanical Gardens where you can just enjoy yourself by reading a book. No, say I forget. I'm having a Henry moment. I don't want to be all sweaty like I was for Lee. Listen up, Cleveland.